All right, everybody. I figured I'd give y'all an update because I think I want to give this YouTube thing another try. Not seriously for making money or anything, but more just because I find it fun to share what I've got going on. Uh, I think it's, you know, just kind of fun. But let me start with trying to catch you up on all the vehicles I own and what they've either been doing or have done um, with the list as best as I can remember it. My black S10, I yanked the motor out of that and I sold it. My green S10 got scrapped. My gray S10 got wrecked yeah, probably three years ago now, but I don't. I never told anybody because I was always a little embarrassed to admit that I wrecked it. I put it on its lid. But I was fine. No damage. I was completely okay. Just a tiny bit of scratches from when the glass broke and I had to crawl through it to get out of the cab. Um, I have my 2014 Camaro SS, which I do believe I have um, talked about on this channel a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. I also have a um, crew cab square body Chevy. It's a 1989 model. You can see it peeking out way back there in the backyard. I'm going to get to that later and give you some more details on it. Um, and I do believe that's all the vehicles I can update you on. I don't think I've had anything else coming and going. Um, but let's start with what's in the shop right here. I'll let you know what's going on here. Ignore that mess. I was looking for a couple washers in my little bin there and I'm not organized when it comes to hardware so that turned into a big problem but I have since done a lot of shelf work and stuff in here and I have made it to where I've got a lot more floor space to work with but um, a lot more organized than I used to be at least makes things a lot easier around here. I have also since bought myself my own welder. I've got that one on loan. It seems like indefinitely from a friend. Badass air compressor. All the jacks and jack stands and everything I need. That's also That engine hoist is on loan, but it's one of those things where it's like I might as well own it for how often it's here and how little the other guy uses it. Um, I've got my wall of broken parts. I've got more than just that, but I, I like them. So that's the original clutch out of the Camaro. Nothing really wrong with it. It's just I had to pull the transmission, so I put a clutch in it. Uh, one of many axles I broke in that car. The rear end that I broke less than a month ago. And over here we've got rocker arm I cracked, more axle stubs from broken axles. There's the valve I dropped and bent about two years ago, um, hiding in there are little chunks of uh, spider gear, because that's what I broke in the rear end. Um, moving on from that, I've got this six liter iron block right here, you know, LS motor. And it's basically a truck motor to the core, with the exception of, I'm gonna, well, I mean, it's not an exception, but I'm gonna throw a stage four uh, Brian Tooley truck cam in it. This is not my motor. This is going into a buddy of mine's Corvette. It is a 74 Corvette. It is rough enough around the edges that no one's going to be upset about this motor making its way in there. Um, this bottom end was is a 1999 I do believe so it's got the long crankshaft on it. It has been machined uh, cam bearings installed, everything. Should be running about 11 to 1 compression. I'm gonna try to get, I think, an LS1 or an LS2 intake manifold to go on it for the, you know, the, to be a lower profile uh, intake to clear the hood. That truck oil pan is probably gonna end up coming off. It's simply on there to catch the oil dripping through the motor from assembling it. Uh, other than that, it's going to be a pretty mild motor, maybe 450 horse, but in that little car, that'll be fantastic. 
especially since you know Seth, my buddy, is not a high horsepower experience kind of guy. So going at 450 is probably the best way I could do training wheels for him so he doesn't get in over his head too quickly. Um, we can chat about the Camaro a little bit here now. I know this is a little bit uh, rambly and we're kind of all over the place, but I've only got so much time before my son wakes up and then I'm out of time to film, and plus there's a storm rolling in. So with this Camaro, I'm not sure how much it's been on my channel yet or not. Uh, it's hard to get a good view of things because I don't have a huge workspace to where I can step back and really show you. Uh, this is a LS3 car, six-speed manual, T TR6060. Um, <clears throat> I've got upgraded, you know, wheel tire kind of package going on. 275, 40, 20 front, 315, 35, 20 rear. Full length exhaust, cam, headers, tune, cold air intake. It probably makes about 500 horsepower. Um, like I said, I break this one a lot. I've, I've had it apart so many times. I try to keep it clean. I don't have to put miles on it quite as much anymore, so that's a huge benefit. That's because I've acquired a little crap box car recently, hiding over there. That's the one that I get to put all the miles on. And even this morning, I was using it to pull around a rear end in the backyard. So that's about all I got to update you up here at the shop. I call it the shop, but it's so small it doesn't count. That I am now going to walk you down to the truck, give you a walkthrough on that. I'm sure I'm going to edit some of this about, but just because I am running out of time, I have got to beat the storm that is rolling in. We are going to rush, and I am not going to stop and start this film. So, this truck's hiding back here under a tarp because I have got laid off a little while ago and I don't have money to give this truck what it needs right now. Um, this is an 89 crew cab, last year of the square body truck. Can't really see in there at all. This one is a plain, drink, plain Jane stripper model truck. She you know, factory, no headliner, no anything. All it had was, it didn't even come with a dome light. That's how plain Jane this was from the factory. It started life as a two wheel drive. It is an R30 on its registration. The guy I bought it off of swapped this three quarter ton suburban front axle in here. It is a 10 bolt. That is all he really got done with doing it though. I put the wheels and tires on it. It had 37s on it when I bought it, but they were the military tires. I have also hung a Gigundo semi-truck transfer case in there. Um, I got to work with the rear end because that pinion angle is terrible. Um, and this truck was running and driving very reasonably reliable up until I decided I needed to cram a 6 liter LS into this as well. And long story short, I got a little bit screwed over. Yeah, it's hard to see in there and I don't have time with the storm to really get this opened up. But long story short, I got a little screwed over and I ended up putting the wrong pistons in that motor because I was trusting a guy to trust a guy. And now that whole bottom end's got to get taken out, sent to the machine shop and redone. This truck has a uh, NV4500, you can kind of see it in there, stick shift swapped into it. It was originally a turbo 400 truck. Uh, my transfer case is completely pneumatic. That switch right there turns on and off the air compressor. And then I have my dial here that I can select the different ranges for the transfer case. Um, hidden in the, the ashtray to keep it keep it pretty um, I don't know how much more I can talk about this I know I'm rambling real bad but I'm in a bad situation with the weather coming in and the fact that I got to get you guys caught up on what's going on before I can start making other videos so um, I'm trying to think uh, this truck's got an inch and a half worth of body lift on it which 
I hate body lifts, but that is literally the only way that this transfer case fits. I did not install the body lift. It came with it, and it's not even installed correctly. I simply made it better than it was. Ultimately, it is terrible. Um, this transfer case has a 10-inch drop or 11-inch drop on it. Uh, all you can see is my exhaust that's not finished. And because of that, I actually had to cut a hole in the floor of the cab under the back seat to scoot this thing up high enough that it is not so low that it is a problem. As you can see, it only hangs, I don't know, about four or five inches lower than the frame rails. I wish it were a little higher up, but you know, what you're gonna do about it? You only got so much space to work with, with things. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I got right there. Um, I will update you with projects as I work on them going forward as best I can. I might even film some new videos about the Camaro just to get a little closer look at what's going on. Maybe like the Hoonigans guys do with the build breakdown. Hopefully you're not getting too much wind noise because the wind is really picking up. But um, Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, you know the deal. You know that everybody says because you have to. Um, I will try to keep your guys updated as best you can. As you can see, I got my baby monitor on me. I don't know if I pointed that out yet. I'll try to keep you guys updated as best I can. Um, but thanks for watching. See you later.